How do long division and remainders fit in with today's Common Core math methods for division? And how do fractions fit into the mix? Join me as we explore these questions in today's episode of Mr. Mark's Math Adventures. Hey math learners, it's Mr. Marks, your friendly neighborhood math teacher. Remember, it's not just about getting the right answers, it's about learning and growing along the way. And before we dive into today's adventure, remember to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay tuned for future episodes. Now today, we have a topic inspired by a comment from one of our friends on TikTok. Shout out to William for sharing this fantastic idea. With William's jump start, what do you say we explore this topic together and see how it can make our math journey even more exciting? And as we start, always feel free to use the companion worksheet. It's a great tool to follow along with the episode. The companion worksheet's free to download, link down in the description. Now traditionally, when we divided numbers using long division, we sometimes talked about having something called a remainder left over. For example, if you divided 11 by 2, you'd get 5 with a remainder of 1. But let's look at this through the lens of modern mathematics and the common core approach. You see in the past, we stopped at the answer, 5 with a remainder of 1. But what exactly is the remainder? What does with a remainder of 1 even mean? Well, the remainder is the part left over after the division. It's like having a piece of something that doesn't quite fit. But here's where modern thinking shifts the perspective. Instead of seeing this leftover as just a remainder, we can think of it as part of a whole, a fractional part. So, when we say 11 divided by 2 equals 5 with a remainder of 1, what we are really saying is 11 divided by 2 equals 5 whole groups of 2 and 1 part of 2, or 1 half. It's not just an extra piece or an extra step. It's a significant part of our answer. This approach isn't just about changing numbers. It's about changing our mindset. It helps us to see the connections between division, fractions, and even decimals. And now I challenge you to think about division in this new light. Next time you come across a division problem with a remainder, try to see the remainder as a fractional part rather than just simply as a remainder. It may be a small shift in thinking, but it can open up a whole new world of understanding in mathematics. Hey, props to you for taking some time out of your day to do some math with me. I hope you followed along, and if you made mistakes, that's all good. Remember that every mistake is a step towards learning something new. This has been Mr. Mark, signing off. I'll catch you next time with another math problem. What did you think? Did you approach this problem differently? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this problem, show your support by liking and sharing this video. And don't forget to follow my page to stay up to date on more math-related content. Until next time!